Hey there guys, Crossflux here, and welcome back to more Let's Play World to the West. In the last episode, we were introduced to the fourth and final main character of the story, Clonington. He's apparently a dumb brute, but he's also a clone of some person. And in today's episode, we're gonna hopefully reunite him with some of the other characters in the story so that he can actually do something. Because after all, his face is on the totems just like the others, so... That leads me to believe that he has a major role to play in the story. Okay. Yeah, this part's a little tough for me just because it takes so long to punch things. For someone who's supposed to be really strong, it sure is taking a long time with these. But I guess no matter how strong a human is, going up against a Gru is serious. Serious business. Now these flail monks though, there's no excuse for that. We should not be taking any damage from these. There we go. Get a little bit of health back, cause wow, even though I have so much health, I still took a lot of abuse there. Alright, now where do I go? Tab. Uh, it looks like I need to, yeah, go to the soothsayer. But I know I can't get in through town, so it looks like I'm going to have to go down to the bottom left. Gotta take the long way around. Oh yeah, that walking cycle. I just, I love it so much. Look at that. Oh, get it, Clonington. Okay, so, what does this screen have in mind for us? I really like those uh, wind chime noises in the background. Overall, I've been quite pleased with uh, the music in this game. It's, uh, it's certainly not my favorite soundtrack in the game. I definitely like the soundtrack to Tesla Grad even better. And my favorite music so far in this game were, or has been, taken straight from Tesla Grad. But uh, as far as the original music goes, it's still quite comforting and stuff. The reason I bring up music in the first place is, I don't know, call me a weirdo or whatever, but for some reason I've always found music to be really, really important in a video game. It helps uh, set moods and stuff, and so, yeah. Here I go just rambling on about nonsense. I should be talking more about the game itself. Get away from me, Gru. Yeah, that's right, go away. I don't actually want to kill you, I just kind of want to make sure you don't kill me. Since I'm pretty low on health and I'm really bad at controlling this guy. Oh, I see they have been expecting me. My glorious face is already immortalized. I cannot pronounce things properly using a Russian accent, no? Yeah, I'm really bad at accents, guys. I apologize ahead of time, but, uh... You know what? It's fun to make accents even if I can't do it. There we go. Knock that out the way. Not sure why that was important. I guess maybe that needs to be gone later. Alright, so there's a bunch of sleeping grooves up there. And a whole lot up there. But slowly but surely, I'm making progress. Alright, now what's this? Bull Rush. Okay, good. I was hoping he would have some sort of dash move. And, okay, so it charges up. Oh, wow, nice. And he just, literally just keeps charging straight ahead. And I assume this is the southern entrance to that temple. Bust our way in here. Greetings, adventurer. Welcome. Yes, greetings. I have arrived. Oh, it's you. Yes, it is I, Lord Clonington. Ha ha ha. It is good that you are here, but I feel that in order to behold your brilliance properly, you must pose in the correct light. I could not agree more. Where will the light illuminate my profile most magnificently? The northern part of the temple has a column of light. It will be most flattering for your uh, complexity. An excellent idea. I shall do so at once. Over here? Yes, truly magnificent. Now stretch your arms forward. And like this? No, no, I meant... 
Oh. Okay, so the section with Lumina at the very start of the game took place fairly late into the story, I assume. Which, honestly, it kind of makes sense. I was beginning to wonder where uh, she would fit into this. What? Well, I never. A small blue ferret has fallen from the sky. Ow, ow, ow. Oh boy, they don't build these things like back home. A speaking ferret, my word. Come with me, small rodent. What? Who are you? Did, did you just call me a ferret? I'm surprised you're still alive from that fall, Lumina. Ah, oh, good. I see you found young Lumina. The small girl fell from the ceiling. How do you know my name? Yes, yes. What fortunate it was that you are standing right there, so conveniently. Indeed. Now then, you seek a great beast, do you not? A challenge worthy of your mighty strength? I wish to punch something of great magnitude, yes. And you, young Lumina, you came here quite unexpectedly. How do you know that? But perhaps you will find more familiarity in these lands than you might expect. And perhaps something to help you return home, eh? Now listen well. To the east lies the settlement of Carte Blanche. But do not go in, for that is not where your path lies. My path? Continue north from there, up a great mountain. Then find your way underground. There you will both find what you seek. For you, Clonington, a mighty beast lies in wait. And for you, Lumina, something to help you return home in a chest well guarded. Ooh, hello. This is ridiculous. The Lord and the Farage. Alright. Cool, at least we have two uh, party members together at once. I kind of miss Nels and uh, Terry, though. But, uh, so that's actually kind of interesting. It seems that this whole continent is the western continent. And there, I did not mean to teleport. But, uh, anyways, as I was saying, so yes, this settlement here is just that. It's like, like a colony from the eastern continent. So we're not even anywhere near Electropia or Mesmer or anything along those lines. So, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. I like that a lot. But, uh, alright, well, time to get on with the story, I guess. Hmm, well, I wonder what the best way to teleport would be. I'll just have him teleport back, and, uh, we'll start from here. Oh, what does Luna have to say to Lord Clonington? So, little ferret, I am not a ferret. My name is Lumina. How many great beasts have you slain in your time here? I, um, well, I fought a really big Gru. Haha, <laughs> really big, eh? All Gru's would be big when you are a small ferret. It would have been nothing to the legendary Clonington. Actually, it was about your size. What? And you felled this beast? Perhaps small ferrets have sharp claws. I'm not. Ugh, never mind. <laughs> I like these two already. And, uh, alright, so, yeah. Once again, thrust into action with no real idea of what I'm doing. So, uh, same old, same old, I would suppose. Let me see, how long does it take to do a bull rush? Okay, apparently not long. And this way is only accessible for now. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to find some other way to go north. How will I do that? Okay, perhaps traveling underground in yonder direction. Yonder is a very specific term, for those of you who don't know. It uh, tells you exactly where you need to go without you having any idea. So, I thought I'd fill you all in since uh, I'm not sure how many southern people would be around here. Alright. Smash this down. Hopefully these walls stay broken once I've clobbered them. I would really hope so, at least. Get out the way. Get out the way. Move. I'm walking here. Hey, right. I thought it was dead. Okay. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Well, Lumina could certainly blink through that for some extra health, but how is she going to get up there? That's the question. What about down here? 
Hmm. Oh. 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 Yeah. Got him. He's dead. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Alright, so I have 250 of those weird talisman gem things. I really don't know what they are. I wish someone would explain... Explain to Clonington just what they are. I, wait, really? He can't bust these blocks either? I thought for sure if there was anyone in the party who would be on block busting duty, it would be him. Oh, wait, you know what? Nels can totally pick up dynamite at some point. I bet that's his department then. Alright, what about this? Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Alright, do, 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 do. so I need to head north. And, alright, so, yes, that was how I do that. And it looked like there was a blank path for Luna, so she should be able to get north as well. Explore a new territory. Ooh, I bet if Lumina were here, she could read this. I can't read this. Excuse me, Gru, I was trying to read. I'd appreciate it if you voiced your concerns at a later date. Get away. Get away. Okay. Alright, but well, enough fooling around. Let's uh, see if there's anything that I can find around here. Oh, okay, that's a chest. Is it locked or anything? Nope, it's just a chest. Sweet. Alright. Dead end. Perfect. Just what I expected would happen. Okay, no one to deal with. But, it looks like if I just keep running, there's not really much they can do. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Back, you fellow beast. So they take they take eight hits, which is twice as many as a monk tail or flail monks. I don't know why I have such a difficult time remembering those guys' names. All right, so let's head up here. Wait, I wonder, can I bull rush in order to jump large gaps? I highly doubt it, but it's worth a try. Ooh, okay. So, I found a new form of attack, but that doesn't really help me in terms of exploring. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to get up there. She said I would find a way underground. I assume that goes down this way, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay, well, let's uh, keep trying, I guess. There's not really anything else that I can do. Um, hmm. Sorry if the episode's uh, starting to slow down in terms of pacing, but uh, can't really help it if I don't know anything. So I found a totem at least, but uh, it doesn't really help me advance, which is really what I need. All right, all right, sweet. That takes those things out in one hit. That's what I'm talking about. All right, anything over here, anything at all, please let me know. There must be something around here. Oh. oh, I have no idea. Okay. Again, I have no idea how I'm doing these techniques, but there's like this weird combo that I'm doing. Okay, so holding... So starting my bull rush and then immediately interrupting it with an attack is a new form of attack. That's cool. But what's not cool is still being stuck. Oh man. I have to find a way out of here. Okay. Where else is there? I just I don't see anything. I can't go through these trees. Right? I'm going the right way. Well, kind of. And I can't go that way because it's up a cliff. Really, the only way I can go is around here somewhere. Ow. Okay, that did not... Oh, duh. I just fall down this way. Herp, derp, okay. So I found some form of progression, but not enough, I'm afraid. Get out of here. Give me that, whatever it is. I still have no idea what these blue things are. They're like purple gems. They like drop them and they die. I'm on to you, I'm on to you. Get out of here. 
Get out of here. I just want to make sure this thing's dead so it doesn't mess with me while I try to inspect that door. But, uh, I guess that was another one of those soul link doors. Don't know what it is about Gru's souls and being linked to doors, but it seems to be a thing in this game. Okay, open those for future preparedness and whatnot. I assume Lord Clonington can't swim. I'm just gonna throw out the assumption that no one in this game knows how to swim right off the bat. And nothing. Well, I assume Lumina could probably take that path and blink across that gap. It seems like Lumina's kit is really good, having the Tesla staff to straight up kill enemies in like one or two hits. Or, never mind, Lord Clonington can climb. That changes things. However, I think I'm going to put this new ability to use in the next episode. Yes, I just did that. Thanks so much for watching, guys, as always. Hope you all have a blessed day, and I will see you in the next one.